Okay. Hello there. Okay, so I actually bought a couple of more of those blue pills from the internet. And I bought three of those. And when I try to um, when I try to uh, access it from using the open OCD, I was unable to. And basically unexpected ID code, blah 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 blah. And after searching the internet, it turns out that uh, basically there's a bunch of uh, Chinese fake blue pills um, available on the internet. And like just by looking at it, there's almost no way of saying that, you know, this one is the actual chip from the ST or is it the Chinese one? Um, so the only thing that you can test is to actually try to connect it with your um, connect with with your dongle. So for example, the Open OCD is going to return the error uh, about the invalid uh, code. And just by looking at the chip, like. You know, those ones, they actually came pre with some predefined code that flashes the uh, the LED rapidly. Um, but apart from that, it looks like, uh, like the real thing. And the only difference that I can tell right now uh, between those two fake ones and, uh, and the one that works is that the fake ones, they have the uh, 991KA um, well, characters in their serial uh, in the serial number that's printed on the chip apart from that it's just you know, it looks like a normal STM chip uh, STM32 F103C8TB so I don't know what else might be uh, wrong well not wrong what else might be different like from what people are saying on the internet there should be just like a drop-in replacement and they should be fully compatible but who knows but basically uh, we are unable to flush it with uh, open OCD um, and we should be able to fix it, actually. Um. So if we go to the target and we look for our chip, as in the original STM chip, um which is this one that's what we're using to program it for example when we are messing around with the with the pwm there's this cpu tapid And that's basically what uh, Open OCD is uh, expecting to see uh, when it's connecting to the uh, to the board. So uh, so if we are going to copy uh, that file, this one. Um, and edit it uh, 
Uh, just by changing that ID, we should be able to program the uh, that Chinese board or that fake blue pill board. So this is the code. And So this is the code that's expected according to, um, to the config file, but it returns this. So if we just edit this, so if we just edit this, We should be able to program it just fine. So open OCD. Uh, this is what we were using normally. And boom. And that means that we should be able to um, Uh, we should be able to just program it with our code, the one that we used for the PWM uh, stuff. Okay, so now it's flashing slower. And uh, if we if we just hook up a logic analyzer, we should be able to see that our um, there we should be able to see that uh, our stuff is actually flashing. And um, actually, we have it uh, PWM signal on the port PA fifteen. So, channel one is the or channel zero is the PA-15. Ah, okay, so this is the issue that we had the other day and I simply just used the older version of this. Uh, but it seems that the problem with this is just a sampling rate. For some reason, it's, this software cannot read my uh, uh, the hardware or you cannot read from the USB quickly enough and hence the timeout uh, but once we go a little bit lower so actually should that work here okay so even this is enough um, no so anyway so there we have the PWM stuff running on the the Chinese one the Chinese board. Okay, there is a timeout eventually. But this, that'll do. Okay. So if you get caught by the the fake STMs. Uh, 
Um, I guess you can just uh, use them, probably. Uh, don't know if there's going to be any differences in terms of hardware and the support. Probably if you're experienced with the boards, um, like you can be probably comfortable enough to know if the issue is with your software or with the hardware or whatever, but like embedding stuff can be embedded stuff can be quite messy. Uh, so you might go into the rabbit hole of trying to debug something that's actually uh, is caused by the board itself. Mm, yeah, I probably use this as a replacement for the code that I know that works. Uh, for example, if my old board burns down or something like that, I can keep them as a backup. Uh, but I wouldn't be doing any new development on, on those. I don't, I would personally don't feel uh, skilled or experienced enough to be uh, starting a new development on, on this stuff. So yeah, so this is going to be a quick one then. So, goodbye.